Yo, what's up? Welcome to another super secret live stream. Um, super secret because I don't have enough forethought to plan this out and let people know. And every time I do this, it's kind of like a test. Like, all right, let's see if we can try this thing. And then once that works, we'll do it all the time. We'll do one of these like every week which is probably how I introed the last one I did this like months ago, I would guess. That's my guess anyway. Is that audible enough for you? Should it be louder, quieter? Sounds great, but perhaps a bit distorted. Um, give me one second. I'll be back in one second. Okay. How about now? Is that... It might be not clipping, but now it's too quiet maybe? Let's, let's figure this out real quick and then we will be on our way. Now the real question is, is it uh, clipping when I'm playing or when I'm talking or is it the same either way? Because that can change things obviously. That can make a pretty big difference. How about now? Just the banjo, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Is that better? And now we're dropping a ton of frames, unfortunately. Let's see if anything can be done about that. good but autofocus is now gone also there we go for some reason not uh, auto focusing see this is this is the real way and I don't really do this that often is you test them forever and then it doesn't do the thing it was doing before I clicked the hit, hit the uh, go live button
but yeah I don't know I don't know uh, what the situation is with that This doesn't happen anywhere near as much when uh, I just go live. Uh, I just go live on like my phone. That probably would be just as good. It wouldn't have to look this good, but I want it to look this good. We might be okay now though. might just play a little bit and we'll see uh, if it stabilizes a little bit and then we'll move on. see if that will hold. Maybe I can kind of prop this up. It'll... I'm watching my own stream so I can see if it's actually choppy or not, but it seems like it's okay now. We might be good to go. So we're here for a reason, and that reason is we are going to attempt to transcribe a really cool solo uh, from Chris Thiele. But first, I wonder if I should move this, uh, this little box. Mm, it's probably fine. Um, Yeah, give me a second to set this all up. I thought I was going to do this one way, and now I'm not. Now it's going to be a little different, but just as good. All right, they got that there. It's almost like I didn't prepare for this at all, but I've actually been working on making this look a certain way for quite some time. So it's almost like, what was the point of all that if I'm just gonna change it immediately? But, so it goes. Okay. Now, since I've moved everything, oh, it's all in the right place still. That's fantastic. Okay. In that case, we're good. Okay. The goal today, we are transcribing a Chris Thiele solo. This is part of the whole new big plan that we got here for content. There's going to be live streams. There's going to be content made from live streams. And to do that, you have to do the live stream. So uh, this is a really cool solo. Why don't you just go ahead and listen to it? Let's just take a listen, and you can tell me if this is way too loud. we got to find where it is in the recording, too. But There. Look out your window, and I'll be gone. You're the reason. So this is solo called a solo from a song called don't think twice the bob dylan song from a record that chris Thiele did with brad meldow fantastic pianist jazz pianist uh and 
I saw Jake Howard, excellent mandolin player, do a transcription of this solo, and I thought maybe, maybe this could be done. Maybe this could be played on the banjo. I actually have no idea. I have not touched this yet. I have no idea if this is going to work at all. So we're just going to have to see how it turns out. Um, so yeah. I wonder why, babe. Doesn't matter anyhow. When your rooster crows at the break of dawn, look out your window and I'll be gone. You're the reason that I'm traveling on. Don't think twice, it's all right. seconds but there's a lot going on there that's a lot of that's a lot of solo to play twice it's all right so one more time So let's see this piano solo too. great ways to slow things down so you can learn them a little easier and I'm just here in QuickTime player on the Mac and you can just set it to half speed that'll be fine probably don't need it to be exactly half speed but that's just where we're at I just don't want to overthink it when I'm you know I don't need a whole big like special transcription workstation because I'm really just trying to figure out what it is and work on my ear at the same time if I can the software using yes guitar pro so sounds a little bit more 
like it. Why it's alright? Those are the notes anyway, but how do you play that in a way that's easier, faster? Interesting, how is that going to work? This is the eternal challenge with the transcribing something that's not banjo onto the banjo is the melodic style will get you all over the fretboard It doesn't sound the same as doesn't sound the same as the actual one note at a time single string stuff. Ten percent transcription, ninety percent arranging the fingerings. Yes, yes, exactly. If that was all I had to play, that would be super easy. But I gotta go up there. I don't even think slow motion I can do that. Well, slow I can do it, but not slow enough. Let's just see what happens if I try to do that full speed. 
this is not gonna be good. Yeah, that's for the reason that I'm traveling on. Don't think twice, it's alright. It's like doable, but like is that so here's here's what I'm trying to figure out is in theory, let's say I wanted to actually use this information, am I going to take this lick and use that piece of information, you know? Like in different keys. <laughs> Probably not. Nothing else is quite quite comfortable. Like this is, unfortunately, this is not a good option, and so far it's the best option. gonna sound the best but it's not <laughs> easy it's not easy enough to play um, bro can't even play mandolin I cannot play mandolin although let me show you something if you want to hear some if you want to hear some mandolin If you want to actually, I'll show you what it looks like if I'm playing mandolin. So when I was playing, I played with Dale and Bradley, fantastic singer, bluegrass singer for a little while. And um, played banjo, obviously. And, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, I can only play banjo. I mean, I can play guitar, but like as far as bluegrass, I don't really play a lot of bluegrass guitar or anything like that. Um, however, as this band was getting going, um, she fired her mandolin player the week before we were going to shoot a music video. And... Uh, If I could catch no Pagali at home, he would help me. Uh, yeah, so mandolin player fired week before we shoot a music video. The music video was for a song that did not even have banjo, but it did have mandolin. And so I got a call uh, seeing if I could uh, play a little bit of mandolin, fake mandolin, for this music video. And you're wondering why I'm, because I'm just trying to get this video up. There we go, okay. And with any luck, it'll even, it'll even play the sound when I play it. Uh, so, question was asked. Uh, yeah, she did East Kentucky Morning, yeah, yeah. So, she's amazing, she's, she's the coolest. Uh, asking, yeah, if I could play mandolin in this music video, an instrument that I do not play, but it's okay because it was fake mandolin. It's not supposed to be like, you know, really amazing. Wow, what production quality this is. Fake mandolin. Uh, 
And so I, this was a call I got the day before I left. I, I flew down to South Carolina. We filmed it in this church. It's this gospel song. And uh, I was like, yeah, I could probably figure that out. So I spent the day figuring out how to play the mandolin solo, the mandolin kickoff, all this stuff. Um, it sounded horrible. It really did sound terrible because I don't really know how to play mandolin. I mean, I, fig I can figure out the notes. I know what the tuning is. I can like try to find it. And I wish I had a recording of how it sounded in the church. Because it sounded like this on the actual recording. There it is. <laughs> My Lord suffered for me, carried the cross all the way, my sins to atone. So I play my cool little intro, and then I just have to chop. But I even, well, actually, I had to play the guitar solo. I'm not on this recording. I did not play on this recording at all. That's what it looks like anyway, if I did. And how about the, the mandolin? This would be the end of this man. But on that third and glorious day, God came and rolled the stone away. He rose from the dead because he loved me. Because he loved me. They cut out my my solo. Um, one of the nice things also about this though is I'm for some reason I'm the thumbnail. <laughs> this is the thumbnail for the video and for some reason they just left it as me. I think that was the default thing. Uh, I don't know why they did that. But pretty funny, pretty funny. Uh, let's get rid of this now. Moving on. I might leave that how it is for the moment and just say that's what it is. Uh, and I'll work on it. That's the thing is I'm probably not going to get this whole thing in this session because we're kind of going slow. If we were going, if we were just trying to get this done, we'd be like halfway through it, if not further. But this is all for the content. We're going to, we're going to take our time so I can kind of talk about what I'm what I'm going through here. So I'm going to write this down and then we'll move on just to the next, the next little lick we got here. And I'll try to make this happen as fast as possible too.
call that good for the moment. my message shown here uh, logo Joe says second time you hit that G note and opening lick might be a good time to use the drone to shift yeah that's I was thinking that it's just such a pleasing thing but you I think you might be right I kind of have to do some weird stuff because I hit that with my thumb can't really get to there but there's a there's probably a way around that I would guess I don't know if there is if I could It kind of, so it creates this issue. That's all good. And then I'm doing index here, forward roll, which is super cool. If I don't, if I instead go thumb, index, I could do that. But that kind of becomes awkward. I almost <laughs> now I like that for some reason. It's terrible, but I like it. I don't know why, but it's kind of working for me. Uh, let's find out what happens next. We'll leave that for now. I'm gonna think, Loco Joe. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep considering that because that's probably the the other. Might be the best, that might be the best option. I might now just be too used to an option that isn't that good. That I'm traveling on. Now. Don't think twice, it's all right. kind of keeps using the same thing.
that's cool. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, screw the whole thing up until now. <laughs> First two notes slide up from seven to nine with your index and you use a different box, yes. Yep, yeah. No, no, please do back C because this is cool stuff. I mean, um, the cool thing with this whole project is that it's going to give me different ideas of, of different stuff to play, even if it's not like how to play this solo exactly. Like maybe the best way to play that line could be. But this that's a cool idea to slide like... That's, this is technically how to play all of those notes. That's gonna be, it's way too fast if I wanna play that whole thing like that, but it's just a cool, you know, instead of. That might be the way that I wanna play it overall, but like, Thank you for that idea, because <laughs> there's something something cool about that, which I would not have thought of. So please, as many possible options as, as, as anyone has.
Sorry about that. Just thinking I got the rhythm wrong on this. Yes. In fact, I did. There it is. All right. Now. Time, we are so close. Same thing in reverse, that's what that is. Okay. Then what happens? Here's the problem we're dealing with now. We go up here. That's kind of where I'm at. That's cool, right? Too many ways to play it, but I think that's the one that's like, like I would actually use that.
like it's missing some notes. So if I wanted it to be like exactly all the right notes, sometimes with the mandolin stuff, it's like very mandolin-y. And then therefore it's kind of uh, too, too annoyingly difficult to, to play exactly the right notes with not that much benefit. And I actually wanna like get the most value out of this. So I think the ruling I'm gonna make is that this is a transcription. I'm gonna play it just like Chris really did, pretty much mostly, but make it a little more banjo-y. Maybe not a ton of like banjo rolls and stuff, but like a little more friendly on the banjo so I can use this information. That's the, that's the new ruling on whether or not this is like super accurate or accurate. Because on banjo, that sounds better. That's fine too. Everything we have so far, probably not up to speed, but.
All right. Here we go. you might have noticed if you're still watching the numbers are going down because people are realizing it really is just going to be transcribing Chris Thiele on the banjo and the, and the people are kind of discovering how boring that actually truly is or how un un unentertaining I am but uh, that is okay. Let us see how that all lines up with the train. It's all right. Good. Joe, that's the thing though, Joe, is you're loco. We can't we can't take any of your reactions as representative of any sort of sane, normal person. So 
that is really hard to play. That is not easy. I only say that with love as a fellow unwell person. Uh, okay, let's see where this goes from here. good when you figure it out. Oh boy. All right. So that all together.
think that's probably how that should go. Okay. Write this down, and we're going to take a little break or something. Jeez. Hey, here's a question. Um, oh, Tim says, there are several YouTube versions of the other playing this tune with and without Brad Meldow. All of them are wonderful. Yeah, no, I bet. I think he's been playing this tune a bunch for a while. Um, solo, obviously, but yeah, I like this version a lot, too. Um, Not getting all the uh, articulations and whatever, but it's pretty much. Aren't you getting a rough outline? push through and get to the first end of the first half we're, we're almost halfway there should we just push through and get to the end of the half and then we'll take a little break okay question though I'm gonna play it again I, I set this up so that it would actually sync when I was playing along with the recording but I just realized that since everything else has gone kind of wrong why wouldn't that so let me know is this audio Local Joe, yeah, it's going to. Um, I'm going to leave these vods up. Oh, these will these will just be left up uh, indefinitely, so you can definitely check those out. Um, but before you go, let me know. Let me know if this uh, if the audio is the audio actually synced up when I'm playing along with it. I had it set up that it was before, but I figure it probably went out of whack at some point, as it does. But thanks for sticking around. <laughs> first half and then we're going to start chilling out. That might be as long as we get. We might as well just hang out after that. How long has it been? It's been over an hour. Very well in sync. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you.
Thanks, Joe. I'll see you soon. I'll be doing this again, so maybe with even a schedule of some kind. That's not gonna work. That's crazy. No. Okay, we gotta redesign all of it.
Maybe. Those are the notes, definitely, but maybe that's the way to do it. Sorry, Rob, you are in the midst, we are in the midst of learning this Chris Thiele solo. A little bit of a roadblock here. might be the best we're going to get right now. Uh, but let's write something down.
Okay, we'll just say that's what it's going to be. Just hard to say. Everything we got so far, great. All right, that is the first half. Sheesh, it's not easy. Thanks for sticking around. The mighty 12 of you still here. Um, look forward to this in a video coming soon, as soon as I can actually play this stuff, which I currently cannot. Um, but that's going to do it for now. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty toast. That was an, a solid hour and a half of transcribing. Uh, I'll be back soon. If you're subscribed to this channel, you'll find out 
If uh, you check out the Patreon, the link below, you can help support this kind of stuff, these kind of videos. And then they happen more often. They're more likely to continue if people support them. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's that's what we're, that's what we've done. Hopefully, this will end up being a little bit more, a little this and that. Today it was just like let's hit the ground running, nose to the grindstone, try to get this done. But my brain is pretty fried now, um, so I might try to just practice playing this but I'll be back soon so thank you so much for watching and until next time until next time <laughs>